What's up Slick Review fans, we're coming at you with another video. We're going to check out another dash cam. This one is over on Amazon, so before we get into the box, we're going to head over to the website to check out a couple details. So you can find this one on Amazon, the link is down in the description for you as always. We've got a nice 1080p dash cam, it does have a nice 3 inch LCD display on the back. This one ships with a 32 gig SD card which is nice as well. We have a nice 170 degree wide angle lens with support for night vision. It's got the G sensor which is useful for detecting collisions if you're in the car or something like that. Loop recording so it records over old video files, you just put in an SD card card and let her go. So we'll check out a couple of these photos here. So it comes with a suction cup mount and again we have the nice large three inch display on the back. So here's a closer look of the camera itself. We have a nice lens up front, lots of buttons all around the side to interact with it. it does support 1080 resolution at 30 frames a second. So it's not the smoothest. I do like to see 60 frames a second, but 30 is going to be just fine for what this camera is meant for. So here's a quick tour around the camera. You can pause that, read it for yourself. And then it does suggest mounting instructions there as well. So this is only going to run you not even 60 bucks. It is available through Prime. Let's scroll down here and see what else we need to see. So it does run off of your car through the power outlet. And then there's some tech specs for you to check out as well. You can pause that if you like. And then here's some more features. We kind of already touched on all this. But again, 1080 support, 170 degree lens. And then here's everything you get in the box. So head through the link down in the description, guys, to go over and check that out. So let's look at the box here. It is a pretty basic packaging, so nice and simple. So on the back here, again, here's everything that comes in the box. We're just going to slip this band off and get right to it. Alright, so up top we get the camera itself. So we'll grab that, set that to the side. And then on the side, we get some instructions, a warranty card. They do have a year warranty, and it has return instructions in case you're not completely satisfied as well. And then in this plastic baggie here, we do have a cigarette lighter kind of power socket with attached charging cord. Looks to be mini USB. And then we have another mini USB cable for plugging into your computer, download files if you like. And then here is the suction cup mount as well. So let's take a tour of the camera itself. Hopefully it's got some charge so we can just kind of check it out here behind the camera. Let's try to, well first let's just take a tour around. So it does have a very nice premium feel. I mean, it looks like any other just regular kind of pocket camera is kind of what it looks like. It does look very nice and high quality. So we have a nice large lens up front here. It does say it has support for six times digital zoom. Nice wide angle lens. Here is the assist for night vision. We'll put that through the test and see how well that works out. On the side here again, we have a lot of buttons for interacting with the camera through the menus. We have HDMI output, here's your mini USB charging slot, and then microphone and a reset button up top as well. And then in the side, it does ship with a 32 gig micro SD card, so that is a very nice touch. It comes completely ready to go. So let's try to boot this thing up and see if it'll let us check out some of the menus here. So that's not turning on. I'm gonna find one of my chargers. I'm gonna get this thing hooked up to the wall so we can just take it. All right guys, so I've got the camera all plugged in here and we'll take a quick tour of the menu and show you some of the features that this thing has. So one thing I'll tell you is that right away, as soon as it detects power, it turns on and starts recording right away, which is very nice. I've had dash cameras before and you like them to just be set up and you don't have to think about them. You just feed it power, mount it somewhere and forget about it. As soon as you turn the car on, it's going to turn on and start recording. And likewise, you shut the car off, it detects a loss in power, and it shuts off as well. So very nice there. So on the display here, we have a lot of useful information. We see how much time we have left to record on the memory card that's inside, what resolution we're using, and a lot of these icons tell you which features are activated. So this one up here is the park sensing icon, and what that does is when you turn the vehicle off, the recorder of course automatically shuts down, but if it senses any vibration or anything such as someone messing with your car while it's parked, 
or someone hits it, again, you're in the mall doing your thing or something and someone backs up and hits your car, it'll turn on and start taking video for 10 to 15 seconds and then turn off again. So maybe you'll get a plate or something like that. So that's a very nice feature to have and any files that are recorded in that mode are locked and they won't be deleted or recorded over, which is very nice. Another nice feature is the gravity sensor function, which when it when the camera detects a sudden slowdown or so, anything like that, where it reasonably thinks that an accident just happened, it will immediately save that file that it's working on and then set it so that, again, that can't be deleted or anything like that. So very nice, useful, well thought out features. You do have the option to turn the microphone on or off. So if you don't necessarily want conversation that's going on in the car to be recorded onto the video, you can turn the microphone off as well. There is cycle record, which is indicated right here. And that's how many minutes you want each file to be, which is actually pretty useful. So if you think about it, if you have this thing going every time you get in the car, you're going to have a lot of large files. And if something happens that you want to find, you have to dig through, if you're driving, you know, a half hour, 45 minute file. What this does is you can set it for either off, you can have big files if you want, or you can have it for three, five, and 10 minutes. And it'll break up those files into those increments, save them and start over. So let's go through the menus here so you can see what all you can adjust here. So of course you can adjust the resolution. You can either do 1080, 720, or 480 if you wanted to. And of course the file sizes for those are going to be smaller or larger depending on which resolution you pick. But with a 32 gig card, I would always go with 1080 just because you can get the most detail. If you need to get a plate or something like that, I would rather have better resolution because this thing will automatically record over old files when the memory card gets filled up. So that's pretty nice. So again, you can change that cycle record to where it breaks up the video files. You can change the exposure if you want. Motion detection, you can turn that on or off. You can turn the microphone off, date stamp, that gravity sensor, like that parking guard thing that I was talking about where it'll basically keep an eye on your car. You can turn all that on or off if you want. And then of course, language, date, time, all that kind of stuff too. You can tweak all that. So here's what we're gonna do guys. We're gonna get this hooked up in the car. And for the next part of the video, I'll put in some video files that I take out on the road. See you then. So here's a sample video guys of the camera performing. This is set at 1080, 30 frames a second. And here's a sample video file guys. This is 720, just like with 1080. This is only 30 frames a second. So you give up a little bit of resolution, but what you get for that is a smaller video file. Now this camera does have cyclic video recording so that it records over old video files. So video, so file size is not necessarily something you need to be concerned about. And finally guys, this is 480. This is the lowest resolution that the camera offers. And it's going to be a passable video size. You are going to be able to see some detail, obviously not nearly as much as 720 or 1080, but the file sizes are gonna be a lot smaller as well. So again, if you're going to be setting these on a hard drive or, or archiving them in any way, and you just need kind of a detailed account of where a car has been, good for fleet or anything like that, this is a good way to go. Like I said, it's going to record what happens. You just may not be able to pick out all the small little details like license plates and things like that, which is what the camera is good for, is for car insurance, things like that. So again, this camera does offer a 480 setting, but I would really recommend using the 720 or 1080. If you look at these cars that we're passing, go ahead and pause the video, see if you can pick out the license plate, just in case you're involved in like a hit and run or something like that. All right, guys, we're back for part two of the verdict on the dash cam from Old Shark. And guys, this one is an absolute win. 
So the dash cam I was using previously, we did a review on quite a while ago, and I was using that because it worked just fine. But this one for only 60 bucks blows me away. Again, at that price point, it's absolutely fantastic. So what we have, guys, is we do have digital zoom again, wide angle lens. On the back, this is just a giant screen. We have a three inch LCD screen on the back so you can navigate the menus look at the video on playback as we just saw in the last part of the video guys i gave you some demo of some of the different resolutions and how it looks and it looks fantastic i even showed you how actually today this thing almost saved me now just being a good driver driving defensively is what kept me out of an accident but had i been unable to avoid it this would have been invaluable again guys i work in insurance i'm telling you guys you need a dash cam to protect yourself in a car accident. A lot of times, once people get to talking to me, telling me how everything went, stories change, everybody had a green light, things like that. So you can't count on people to do the right thing, unfortunately, and tell the truth. So you do need an objective record of what happened. These things are very inexpensive and they're unobtrusive. You just mount it to the windshield and let it go. This one has a suction cup. Literally, all you do is find it, is find a good spot for it, place it, lock it in, and just forget about it. Plug it in and it literally turns itself on and off. It records over old video files. You literally don't have to do anything once you just place it and let it go. So you really have no excuse not to pick one of these up, guys. Again, it's only $60 and this is a very impressive unit. I would expect this to retail for well over a hundred bucks in a retail setting. So guys, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. I try to answer every single one. Find me on social media so you can stay in touch, but most importantly, guys, hit that subscribe button so you do not miss any future videos. That's all I've got for you this time, guys. Slick Reviews, out.